So in this video we're going to be learning how to tell how many users are on our website at any one time. Using sockets this is extremely easy and it might sound wasteful for a use of a socket to just tell whether the user is online but because we're creating the socket and it's there for the entire duration of the user's uh, visit on the website, we can send the user any sort of data we want. All we have to do is make sure our page can accommodate that. So let's get started. So we're gonna come into our server and here when we have our connection, we wanna also create an event listener for on disconnect. So for disconnection, we'll run a function with some data. And then whenever the user disconnects, we want to decrease the count by one. And if we scroll up, you can see there's our count is equal to zero. And when the user connects, we want to increase count by one as well. So we want to increase count by one when they connect and decrease count by one when they disconnect. And whenever the user connects, we're going to send some data to every single user who's connected because we want to tell every user how many people are online. So to do that, we're going to use a broadcast, which is a part of socket.io. So we're going to say io.socket.emit. And here we're going to say broadcast because that's what we want to send out. We want to send out a broadcast with some data. And the data we want to send is count people online. So therefore, it's going to say one person online, two people online, three people online, whenever someone goes online. But whenever they disconnect, we want to also send another broadcast count people online as well. So now we're going to save that. And we're going to go to our index page. And here when we create our socket, what we're going to do is we're going to say socket.on. And here we're going to say broadcast. And then we're going to run a function. And we need to get the data from the broadcast. We pass that in as a parameter. And here we want to say document.body.innerhtml is equal to data. Now if we run our server, you can see it says one people online because we're not worried about whether it says person or people. But as you can see, it also increased to two because I have two tabs open and this second tab connected. So if I refresh, now it says three people online. If I close a tab. And the reason that didn't quite work is just because it's not disconnection, it's disconnect. Just change that. So the reason the disconnect didn't work is because the disconnect event isn't fired by the library itself. It's fired by each individual socket. So if I copy this, what we essentially have to do is just take it out of there. When we have our connection, this data is how we refer to a socket. So I could actually change that to socket to make it easier to understand. And then what we can do here is paste in our disconnect inside of our connection. So now the disconnect is associated with each socket. So instead of saying io.onDisconnect, we're going to say socket.onDisconnect. So now if I run that again and I refresh, we have one people online, now we have two people online. If I close that tab, now it goes down back to one person online. And you can open as many tabs as you want. And because we're broadcasting, every tab will get updated. So when I close one tab, all the other tabs get updated and receive that information. Now we can tell how many people are on our website at any one time. So that's it for this really simple video teaching you how to check how many people are online on your website at any one time. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.